Hello and welcome back to SML The Point After. If you guys have never heard of The Point After, this is the show where four members compete in a four-round free-for-all battle royale regarding the hottest topics in the Sim Madden League. Each round will be scored on its own with the lowest scoring player being eliminated, except the first round where they battle for a power-up and there will also be an additional power-up in a random point in the game. Uh, and I'll explain the power-ups as they come up. So let's go ahead. Let's get to the first topic here. Uh, the drop, if you will. Um, who out of the NFC is most likely to make the Super Bowl if Faz and QP don't? And Tiny, we'll start with you. All right. So I'll preface this with saying I don't think anybody else will. But um, I would say QB probably has the best chance. Uh, he's playing pretty good. He's 9-3 and three right now, unless he's played already. Um and I mean, he's playing pretty good with that team. Surprisingly, I thought he was going to kind of be one of the almost like clink, be one of the better guys that's kind of holding back the first season, and then uh, you know, maybe get better in the second and third season. Um, but yeah, I feel like QB's got a chance because I mean, he's solid all around, anyways. No matter what, you know, he's always going to be there. Um, and I, even though Bomber just lost, Faz just uh, took care of business. Um, Bomber's obviously probably going to win the division, so you can never count him out. So I'd say he has a very slight chance of possibly doing it. All right, nice there, Tiny. Score 252 points, so you guys are going to have to find a way to come back there. Uh, Fig, how? Uh, what do you think? I'm going to go with D-Muse, the Cardinals. He's spreading oh. the ball out really well. He's only thrown eight picks this year. Um, come playoff time, he kind of seems to kick it up a notch from what I've seen. Um, like one year against Faz, he had his backup running back in. And, you know, he, he almost he almost pulled that. I think he might even pull that one off. Mm -hmm. And, like, he, he's spreading the ball. I, I just feel like once playoff time comes, he's he's got a chance to pull up one of the upsets against either um, QP or Faz. That's good, Fig. Um, so Fig scores there uh, well. Um, up next, we have Dump. What do you think? All right, for this one, it came down with two people. It was Demuse or QB. And I'm going to take Demuse because he won the head-to-head -head matchup. And I think his roster is a little bit more equipped to go deep in the playoffs right now. QB with the Saints playing really good. Been on a tear since he lost to Demuse. But you look at the roster-wise and uh, who he's got, I think he can uh, take it to the next level. I think he could win. I think Kyler is a better quarterback than what the Saints have. So that's the X factor there, going with Demuse and the cards. All right. There you go. Faz, what do you think? Yeah, I think uh, Demuse is the the smart answer. Uh, he's a guy that, like Fig said, he, he plays up in playoffs. Um, regular season, he's kind of coast through a little bit, but playoff games, he, he plays them tight. He has that style where he can hang around, hang around, hang around, and then one thing goes his way, he has momentum, and all of a sudden you're, you're behind the eight ball. Um, he has the, the superstar quarterback. He's got weapons. I think he's the, the best option. My dark horse option, and I will preface this by saying this will not happen this season, probably not next season either. But if I have one guy in the NFC, if I had to bet who can make a, a surprise run here, I'm going with Gutta. <laughs> Out of Ooh. left field, Gutta. I'm telling you. So he, obviously, it starts with he knows Q and me better than almost anybody else here. He can play us tight. We've seen him play Q tight in the playoffs. He's almost won um, pre-blip when he was playing. He will not be trading two first for Malik Willis this time around, so he's going to be building the Vikings team better. If he does do it, I'm going to kill him. Um, but he shouldn't be doing that. He'll have Cook. He'll have Jefferson. You have Daniel Hunter. He can build that team up, get a quarterback. I think Gutt is the dark horse guy that can uh, make a run in the NFC. Good. No, that's good. So the, the scoring of the first round is as follows. Faz, 555. Tiny, 252. Fig, 8. And Dump. <laughs> and, and Dump. Dump. <laughs> dump, 867. So, so Dump gets... Yeah. Dump, dump what gets... <laughs> What is this? <laughs> So I'm not supposed to remember like, oh, these numbers. Yeah, three plate vests. So don't go. Like, oh, no. So yeah. so here's the power ups. Here's your options. You only get to choose one power up dump, and here here they are. Here's your options. You have a self revive. So if you have the lowest score at the end of the round, you can continue playing. You can precision airstrike, which drops bomb on a member and their score reduces by half. A revive pistol, 
donate some of your points to revive a member or give them extra points. A gas mask. Uh, you put this on and we won't hear one member breathe or talk for a whole round. So that means just means they score nothing. And a, deploy, a deployable decoy, which means uh, other own opponents power ups. If they attack you, they won't work. So if they want to use like a uh, precision airstrike, it won't work. So which, what power up are you going to use? I'm going to use... And you can read them in our chat, I send as well, if you're looking through them. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm looking, looking at. Um, I'm going to use the deployable decoy. Wow, playing defensive. Dump is, yeah. Dump is playing strategic. All right, so everybody scores. Now, are... now is, Go on. is that for the rest of the game? He can only use it one time, one round. So, so that's for the next round. Come uh, on. Well, any round he wants, but he, he gets to pick the round. It just, um, we don't know when it'll be. Now, I got you. Now, okay. there's going to be a random point where there's one more power-up given, and uh, we'll see when that is. Oh, what do you know? Random power-up time on this uh, uh, drop here. So we hit the drop. Now the first circle's closing. If you could have one SML superpower, example, Dan's study time or Dan's ability to study tape, uh, what would you take from a player? And Tiny, we'll start with you again. Um, I have two, but I'm going to go ahead and just uh... – I'm going to go with this one first. Prime's clutch gene. Prime is always pretty clutch. Not as much lately, but like I remember my early days, Ooh, he'd be down and out. You think he's not, going to, he's not going to do it, but you know, you just, you, you, then he just comes back and does it. He comes back and wins. Um, although I do remember that one Super Bowl that you kind of got screwed out of the Memorial Day miracle or whatever it was. Yeah. I remember. Um, but <laughs> yeah, I mean, it just seemed like there was several times I would see where you, you know, you were the favorite and then you go into a game. And you were down. It's like, man, there's no way he's going to win this. And all of a sudden, you come back and win somehow. Yeah. No, that's a good one. I like that. Faz, what do you think? First off, bold play on Tiny's part to say you're clutch, Gene, and say, you know, you haven't really been clutch lately. That's true. That's uh, <laughs> kind of like shutting the door on a teammate who's trying to get cover. Um, hey, hey, hey. Well, <laughs> yeah, so superpower I'd go with. And I'm actually going uh, with you as well, Prime. Um I don't know if it's blackmail or if it's extortion, but but your way to just swindle people <laughs> is probably the one thing that I'm missing in, in my SML career. Um, I, I figure out the D. It usually takes me a couple seasons, but I figure out the defense. I can pass. I, I play offense. I score points. But, man, if I could drop into those DMs and just be like, yo, you're best player for – like a fourth round pick and they're like you know what yeah that's <laughs> absolutely fair and then the trade committee is like yeah that's good just send it on through <laughs> um i would take that for sure that's good uh fig what do you think buddy you know i was gonna go with prime too and i'm still gonna go with prime <laughs> his ability to never give up in the games um i feel like that's my major flaw like game early to today you know i was up at one point and then went bad i think if I had Prime's ability, I wouldn't have let it get out of hand. Um, when things go bad for Prime, he's six. He keeps fighting, finds a way to keep coming back. And I mean, more times than not, if he's down, he's gonna find a way to at least come back and make it make it close. If he's not gonna, but likely gonna end up finding a way to win. Thanks, Fee. Man, we're all starting to sound like Matt. Yeah, this is good. I respect Matt, by the way. Uh, Dump. I'm just trying to get more than eight points. <laughs> Dump, what do you think? Well, to no one's surprise, <laughs> I had Prime in mind as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm gonna oh, take... this is bad. We got to cut this. We got to restart. I should have went with my second one. I should have went with my second one. Yeah, I, I got to change it up. <laughs> I thought about switching, but I'm not going to switch. I'm going to say game management. Uh, uh, Prime's always been really good about playing smart, managing the game, knowing when to, you know, just milk the clock a little, when to be aggressive. I would say that's a downfall of mine because I'm always aggressive, and if there's three minutes left in the game when I'm up seven, I'm like, "Fuck it, I'm gonna score a touchdown," <laughs> and then I throw a pick, and then I end up losing. So taking that game management, I think that could help me a lot in my SML game. Something I've been working on. So uh, that's what I'm taking from Prime. Like we all did. <laughs> That's good. Good scoring there. So that was bad. That was bad. I, I got Faz at eight thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Wow. Dump that went well at nine thousand. Fig at nine thousand one, <laughs> and Tiny at zero 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 because he took a little subtle jab at me. So Tiny actually Ooh. loses the round. Now, here's the deal, Tiny. St please stay in chat. We're not going to ask you next question because you're dead in the gulag, waiting to come back here. But 
Fig gets a chance at a power up. Fig, uh, the power ups are listed in the chat. You can get precision airstrike. You can get a, a revive pistol, a self revive, a gas mask, a deployable cover. What makes sense at this point because nobody else is in the, an offensive move. What are you going to pick? We'll play, pick the deployable cover. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. I'll give it to you. Uh, <laughs> oh God! All right, so moving, moving on. The, the, I can never play college now. The, the, the second is that a terrible one. Well, no, it's yeah. it's good. It's perfect. the The second circle is closing. If SML was played with two owners per team. What unstoppable duo would you make? Uh, who would it be, and what 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 roles would they have? Like, what, I'm thinking one guy is kind of like your defensive captain, one guy's your offensive captain, stuff like that. Uh, Dump, we'll, we'll go with you. All right, mine. So I would take two guys from the Thanos Club. Probably not the two that you're thinking. I would take Faz, and I would take Clinky. All right, so Faz would run my offense. Uh, one of the best offensive guys in the game, great play caller, always gets it done, one of the top offenses every year. And then Clink would run the defense. He's always had a great user, played very solid defense. Um, going against him with the Bucks was a nightmare. And even the cycle before, when he had the Lions, always, like I'm an offensive player, um, always dreaded going against him. It's just hard to score. You get in red zone. He's tough down there too. Uh, you got to be on your toes and make smart decisions because you got a great user. And then I think just combine, you know, they know each other in real life. So they have chemistry and Thanos Club chemistry. I think that'd be a, a deadly duo for the SML. That's good. That's good. Tiny, I know we're not going to count your score here because you died, but w w what duo okay. would you do? So <clears throat> mine here would be Matt and Prime. Ah, I respect Matt. Oh, God. Matt's going to Matt's going to Matt just got hard. Over. And then Prime's going to be the one that walks up right behind him and takes care of business. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I would pick Dan, Dan and Faz. Faz, of course, is going to be, you know, the the offensive mind doing the crazy plays that nobody sees, that he has a guy randomly wide open out of nowhere that nobody knows why he's wide open. And then Dan, of course, is going to be the voice of reason and the defensive guy that kind of says, hey, Faz, slow down a little bit. Chill. We're, we're up by 32. You don't need to be yeah. throwing 75-yard bombs. What's going on? So mm – -hmm. Uh, yeah, I think Dan and Faz would be a a pretty good combination to uh, you know win win some games. Fig, what do you think, buddy? I'm going with the two top Thanos Club members. Um, Faz's ability to kind of you know anytime he's comments in the game, he'll be like, "This is what the guy's picking," and nine times out of ten, he's he's usually right. Um, when I was in this division before. I had to completely change my game plan um, anytime I face him because mm -hmm. he, he'd always call my plays. I'm like, geez, I got to do something else. Um, and QP's ability, um, his explosive ability, um, his ability to score 63 mm -hmm. points in a game. I don't think anyone this cycle has scored that much. Mm -hmm. Vince came close against me, but not quite. So <laughs> QP's uh, explosiveness, he just kind of um, gets some crazy. Um, Crazy scoring quick sometimes. Yeah, uh, Faz, what do you think? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself the tout on uh, on offense as well. Um, why wouldn't I? Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. I was thinking about picking Dan, but I wouldn't pick Dan. And the reason I wouldn't pick Dan is because I think he would try and limit what makes me me. So like, sure. I would go for the kill sure. shot, and he'd be like, "No, don't do it. Play it conservatively." And I'd be like, "All right, fine. Run the ball, and then you know we lose." Um, so I, I wouldn't do that, but I would say that I think me and uh, me and Clint could be as dominant as it gets. You get his user out there, his team building. I could kind of rein him in from getting mad every time somebody runs the same concept twice in a row. Um, that would help. And uh, yeah, I, I think we could we could do some serious damage. So dump, you're onto it there. That's good. So I have dump and fast tied at 846, whereas Fig has 946. Um, so. Uh, since since one guy, both of you guys actually died here. Unfortunately, you guys both died. That's just a rule I made up. But unfortunately, you guys are getting brought back. Or fortunately, you guys are getting brought back in the gulag, the championship round gulag. It's two versus two. All right, two on two. So how this is gonna work is I'm gonna give you guys a topic, and one guy on your team is gonna answer, and then you're gonna have to support him. And whoever I think or whatever team puts up the best 
argument or the best uh, yeah, topic wins. My teams are Faz and Dump against get it. Tiny and Fig. All right. Um, and the topic is to spread the love. And you guys can't be spreading the love to me, so don't even try it. You guys got to spread I wasn't the, going to. You guys got to spread <laughs> the love to somebody else. Um, Tiny, we'll start with you. Who are you spreading the love to? Okay, I got to spread the love to KJ. I feel so bad. Every, every time I see his stream pop up, I'll be like, I'll check it in a few minutes. KJ <laughs> will probably stay in it. And I check it, and it's 45 to 3. And I'm like, oh, man. Just keep your head in it. Maybe next season you'll 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 pick it back up, man. Because he was doing pretty good at the beginning of the the first uh, cycle before the blip, mm-hmm. and then I don't know if his his head's just out of it or the the Rams got worse. I'm sure they did, obviously because yeah. they wasn't as good in the NFL. Um, yeah. And just I just want KJ to keep his head in it, and not get discouraged. Yeah. Um, yeah, just keep your head up. That's good, Fig. How are you going to support that? I mean, you always got to love KJ. Um, I'm also going to spread some love to um, Grams. Mm-hmm. Grams was, you know, kind of down this cycle. And um, now he's on top of this this division right now. He's got mm-hmm. Bomber in there and he's still up top. Um, KJ and him, I mean, KJ, I sent him some beer. So obviously I got to love that. <laughs> um, maybe someday I'll, I'll send Grams some love too and send him some beer. Yeah, they said it was some wine or something, maybe. Yeah, some cheap wine or something. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah beer, beer makes him sick. Anymore. Yeah, yeah. He gets yeah, sick after beer. That's what he said yesterday. It's too cheap. Too cheap. Uh, all right, Dump, who are you spreading your love to? Uh, it might be a little bit of a, a wild card, uh, oh, unexpected boy. for me, but I'm going to spread my love to Monty what? for two reasons. I knew it. I knew it. Yeah, 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 yeah. First of all, he needs a little yeah. love after uh, – Running his mouth to prime and getting knocked <laughs> off. True. But also, he is nine and two right now. And yeah. previously and historically in the SML, I think he's just been kind of a slightly above average player. Right now, he's nine and two. Um, he's rolling since he lost to prime. You know, he's won five straight. So it looks like he's trending up, um, playing good, smart football, which is uh, feels like uncharacteristic from pounding that ground game making some noise, uh, definitely going to make a push for the playoffs. So just want to give my love to Monty. And just to finalize, I think I'll see a little bit of a young dump in Monty. You know, we got some similar characteristics. I've, now that I'm older, I've matured and settled down. But I can see myself <laughs> in him when he was younger. So I think that's yeah. why sometimes we go at it. Yeah. But spread love to Monty. Yeah. Faz? Wow. This is nice. Yeah. This is <laughs> that's that's a good person to spread the love to. He definitely needed it. He uh, ran his mouth and and he paid for it. Um, but we're we're seeing a lot of positives out of Monty. We we've seen him grow up in chat a little bit. Uh, he's thankfully stopped at least telling us about his forty seven leg parlays and, and drinking an entire <laughs> handle of vodka in one night. Um, but he, he's playing good football. We saw him play. I mean, he should have beaten Dan and, and gone to a Simbardi. Uh, he got a little dogged on that one, but. He's starting to reach out, ask for help. Uh, he's been in my DMs a little bit, asking for team building stuff, a little bit defensive tips. Um, so I, I think Monty is really kind of putting in the work to to grow as as an SML member and SML player, and, and we're seeing some some fruits of it. Uh, for my my guy to spread the love, I'm staying in the primer posse. So a nice teamwork here, dump, and I'm going with uh, with double race, no bean. He's got my Jaguars in a really good spot. He just did the impossible. He beat a Hudgens brother. Uh, we haven't seen that out of him, I think, ever before this. Um, he's got a good track at, you know, the three three seed, maybe four seed in the AFC. Uh, hopefully stays away from you, Prime, and, and we could see a little playoff run out of uh, out of Double Race No Bean with Jimmy Garoppolo at the helm. Yeah. Well, the, the scoring was incredibly close in this uh, in this uh, duo's battle, but there somebody had to win. And I, I just think that Dump's message about Monty was just way too heartfelt. Uh, and, and so Dump and Fads are going to win. <laughs> Dump and Fads are going to win. Um, Let's go. Uh, guys, you have a second to talk. Uh, uh, dump chugging, uh, smashing <laughs> one. Uh, I don't have anything to chug. Fa- uh, dump, do you have a message to the league? I just want to say I don't apologize for what I did to Bomber. <laughs> oh. Fantastic four. <laughs> Neither Fantastic do I. Four. Neither does <laughs> Faz. Fantastic Four. And oh. I'm going to be moving. I'm going to get a little time away from Adam or stay active, but I'm coming. 
we coming like prime prime time Deion sanders said we, we coming. coming yeah yeah all right that's like good a chocolate penis <laughs> fast what do you think buddy yeah man hey dan said it best we're coming on your behind um dump and Foz, what a duo here big w in the point after much love to the primer posse for now we'll smash you guys in the playoffs but hey it is what it is all right guys well hey that's the point after that's fast that's dump tiny and fig i'm prime guys thanks for watching and thank you guys for joining us on another episode of sml the point after